Hello, thanks for calling Low Value Mail. Hey, what's up, Danny? It's Daniel from Seattle. Daniel from Seattle. How you doing, man? Can hey, you, I think you're on like a speakerphone or something where it sounds like you're a mile away. Can we, oh, yeah. uh, can we get you on some sort of off of that? Yeah, hold on. How's this? Perfect, perfect. So what's up? All right. So I have a conspiracy theory that I kind of came up with. Love um, it, love it. Let's hear I it. think that because COVID was like engineered in a lab, Yes. And it like affects your smell and taste. Yes. I think that it is uh, designed to make bugs taste good. Interesting. So you think that they, so the, the world economic forum, the, the eat your bugs people, right. They weren't getting, so are you saying that they weren't getting traction with people being willing to eat bugs? So then they designed this in order, uh, like essentially in order for that to happen? Is, is that what you're thinking? Yeah. So like they want you to eat like the cricket burgers and the cricket, you know, flavored the food, cricket, the cricket. right? Well, it's not cricket flavored. It's flavored, probably tastes like things you like, but you you are eating crickets. Yeah. 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 But like, you know that McDonald's like buffalo sauce? Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. So like when I had COVID, that stuff tasted like some weird gross slime. You know? Yeah. And like, I just, I feel, I feel like it is literally changing people's brains to well, it enjoy. Cha- it changes your taste. See, I don't know about that because the thing is, is it would like, I had the, I had, when I had COVID, like, I remember I couldn't, could barely taste like a super like grainy kind of like mustard, which would be normally pretty strong. But like I was talking to the, a friend of mine, Joe DeRosa, a comedian here, and he was saying when he got COVID, he's like, all I was doing was just eating the worst foods because it was like the only thing I could taste was like the yeah. foods that were like the worst for me because mm-hmm. they're just like the flavors in them. There's MSG and all that stuff. So I don't know if they would like, I, I don't know if that uh, necessarily holds up because yeah, I don't know. They don't taste like bugs. I don't think. It's more like a mental yeah. thing that they got to get you on board with. It's like a because again, lots of countries in the world eat bugs. Like but like, I, I couldn't even like taste like Szechuan peppercorns. Really, you know? Yeah, and like those are like really intense, like flavor wise. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and so I don't know. I just I, I feel like there's speaking more of conspiracies, by the way, it's so crazy that a year ago, if you called into my show and you were like, "COVID was made in a lab," I might have been kicked off of YouTube. I know that's crazy. It's not wild. Like, that's yeah. the thing too. Is like the people who are so quick to poo-poo conspiracy theories. You're like, so many of them were conspiracy theories, and then they turned out to be real. Yeah. And then they were fucking yeah. kicking. Like I would have had like a like I'm sure there were people who had probably bigger streams than me. Who someone was like talking about lab leak theory, and then just their stream went dark. They just got yeah. mid midstream nuked. Gosh, it, it, it's it's like so horrible. Like out here in in Hobo Needle Land. You know, hobo like, needle land. Yeah, What's Seattle. That? Oh, Seattle. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Someone says yeah. I still might get kicked off of YouTube. Yeah, maybe I will, but I think we yeah. kind of debunked that one. Um. All right. Yeah. Well, appreciate it. Thanks for calling in. All right. Bye. bye.